Hey folks, so going to give you an early overview of the Gigabyte B660M DS3H AX. Uh, as somebody that has owned the B360, B460, B560 versions of this, uh, I feel, you know, I can give you a pretty good rundown on what you're getting and what the disappointments are going to be. Um, of course, if you, you start off with, hey, do I really want a micro ATX board? Uh, there's definitely some shortcomings to you know going that route. Now, space is a saving is a uh, something you need you know saving space, and you have to have a smaller motherboard. Uh, then you know this one isn't so bad. Uh, there's better ones out there, but you know overall this is basically um, as of right now the budget B660 motherboard. Okay. So if you really have to get yourself into a 12th gen, maybe it's the i3-12100, 12400, this might be the way to get you there. What are you giving up, though, folks? That's really the question. You're giving up a lot of stuff um, that you will find in the higher-end boards. But, you know, this stuff that you're giving up isn't around right now, really. So um, so it all starts with the uh, the graphics card. Let's blow this up. This is PCIe 4.0. Eventually, there will be 5.0, okay? Uh, more likely, that will happen. You see up here LGA 1700, that's 12th gen. LGA 1800, which this will support most likely with the BIOS update, that is 13th gen. I have a feeling really that's when you're going to see, start seeing PCIe 5.0, okay? Um, you know, the... M.2 NVMe that's in here, only uh, Gen 4. Uh, we'll double check that, but uh, you know, there's going to be Gen 5 there, so you're missing out there. DDR4 only RAM, all right, so you eventually will miss out on that. Of course, the standard is, you know, if you only have two sticks, you see right here, A2, B2, you would stick one stick there, one stick there, all right, so. Most of the stuff, you know, very similar to past generations. Um, except this one, being the AX version, actually has built-in Wi-Fi. So uh, that's a plus. You're not going to find a Z690 that has Wi-Fi probably up until, like, what, 229, 239, 249, somewhere in there. Um, as I've, I've looked, I haven't looked recently. I don't. There hasn't been any price drops, really, right? 1x8 CPU power connector, 24 pin coming from your power supply to power the motherboard. Uh, fan header here. I think over here there was another fan header. Potentially this is the uh, the CP, nope, excuse me, CPU fan is actually right here. Um, a lot of times they're up here. This one has it here. So that's a case fan there. CPU fan, another case fan. I don't see any for AIO or optional CPU, so they don't want you uh, really to buy this if you're going to buy, you know, a motherboard that's got dual fans. However, there is a splitter out there, so not really a big deal. Uh, SATAs, I'll have to look at the other view, but you've got two here and probably stack two here. USB 3.0 here. It's going to come from your uh, front panel in your case. And then it looks like another, let's see, no, let's zoom in a little bit. Can we zoom in more? I guess we can't zoom in anymore. These are your front panel connectors, okay? So right here, this is your uh, power switch, power LED, HDD LED, and then your reset switch there. Uh, this should be the speaker, if you get a little speaker with your case that beeps. Another case fan here USB 2.0s some RGB stuff the com stuff that nobody uses through here HD audio CMOS battery two one inch so you know this isn't really something the mining guy's going to use because it doesn't have a whole lot of those uh, those PCIe's to add additional graphics cards um, like we said PCIe 4.0 by 16. M.2, here is your um, one of those and another here. 
and we'll check to see if those are Gen 3 or Gen 4. All right, so from the side, it does have built-in Wi-Fi. That's a bonus. I will probably buy this one for sure. USB 2.0, PS2, HDMI, DisplayPort, DisplayPort. So this is a good one, honestly, for somebody that's going to buy a 12th gen that's got integrated graphics. If you buy one with an F chip, uh, excuse me, with an F in the name, this is probably not your ideal uh, motherboard for it, except if you need, you know, Wi-Fi. Um, Type-C Charlie, USB 3.0s. And then we'll see if this is a 1.0 or 2.5. Line out, headphone, microphone. Uh, what do they show here? AI coolers must have LGA. So basically a lot of the coolers out there, folks, you've got to make sure you've got the bracket that works with 12th gen, okay? Let's just make sure we're still recording. All right. Uh, it is 2.5, Wi-Fi 6 built in, and obviously compatible with Windows 11, RGB Fusion 2.0. So that's a software you've got to download from Gigabyte's website under support. Um, we already said 4.0. So here it is, Gen 4 on the M.2s. I would assume they're, yeah, they're both Gen 4s. That's good. But yeah, that's about it, folks. This thing's bare bones. I was going to go check out the their website, but uh, memory standard 3200. Now, this should allow you to overclock the RAM um, higher than 3200. So I guess we do. Folks, we're going to have to go Google this. Because that that would be a deal breaker for me. You can see we've looked at a lot of different motherboards over the past few weeks. So I will I will unbox this. I will do BIOS update on this motherboard uh, in case you see this after the fact. Usually these kind of overview videos die off pretty fast. Uh, I got to get in when I can. All right. Uh, blah blah blah. We got to get a specification. All right. Here you go up to 5333 all right so boom that's that's pretty good you know who knows how good ddr5 ram is really going to be in the long run uh it, it's expensive that's all i can say so am i missing out on anything in either one of my 12th gen motherboards not yet all right so if you come here and you need to find your bios you can click on support bios update file at least hopefully there's anything in here um, are there any BIOSes in here yes we will be able to do a BIOS update you see that boom 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 um, who knows which one this ship with yeah right here most likely fix non K CPU performance issue that's scary so right off the bat you might need a BIOS update CPU support um, gee Where's the, the new CPUs at? They're not even listed. So eventually they will be listed. Don't worry about that. Um, and hopefully right out the box, it'll be good to go. Support list, M.2s if you want to see that stuff. Memory support list. Definitely always recommend you go to that list if it ever pops up. And that's going to do it, folks. Uh, there was my overview. Hope you got something out of it. Yeah, and right in here is where you go. So... You guys that asked me, oh, is this going to support this RAM? Man, this is where you got to go to get your information about what is supported. Um, supposed to be guaranteed pretty much if it's on here, right? Does that mean it's actually always going to work? Not necessarily, but uh, it should. And wow, I got a case fan that's knocking. Um, all right. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.